there is another loop construct called a while loop, which we could use. A while loop only has the check. So while check. So we could write index is less than two and post our code in. And if we try to compile this, we should get a little error. It will tell us, hey, look, index is undeclared. It doesn't exist. So we need to tell it, like we did here, that index exists. That should now fix this error. But when we run it, we get hello Russell repeated for over and over and over forever ad nauseum. That's because this bit of code that updated the index never ran. So if we see what's happening here, we run index is zero, index is zero, index is zero. There's no code to tell us to update what the index is. So instead of running one line of code inside the while loop, we're going to wrap a few couple of lines and open and curly braces, technically, which tells the compiler, hey, everything inside of these, I would like to run every time the loop, the while loop says true. So what else are we going to run? We're going to run index equals index plus one. If we run that, we should have the exact same behavior that we had before. We have hello Russell, hello DJ. So a for loop is really just a while loop that runs a bit of code before and a little bit of code at the end of every time through the loop. 